we have talked about how to make budgets, how to forecast. But not only we need to focus something and budget something, we also need to control our actual results versus budgeted so that we can make some actions and so that we can identify the reasons of the changes in events. So budgetary control is a system when we compare actual versus budgeted. We use that quite often by means of variances. What does it mean? Well, if we only subtract budgeted revenue from actual revenue and find out by how much we sold or by an or for example by how much we have not achieved the budgeted figure, then it will not tell us who's to blame whether it's, for example, the market with the prices or whether it's the sales manager with the quantity. And as such, we quite often want to use variances to be able to break that by effect, by price effect and quantity effect. And also, we need to use uh, these variances, these changes, this deviations that are actual versus budgeted to find out the reasons of the event. And what we are going to analyze, well, of course, we pay great attention to our um, adverse variances, to our cases when we did not achieve the budget. But even more, we need to pay attention to uh, positive effects because if we had something done greatly, then we want to repeat that. So if for some reason we sold a, a greater quantity than we planned for, then maybe we want to learn what helped us so that we are going to change the process in the future. And action needs to be taken. So not only we need to analyze, but also to implement the results in our processes. And when we do that, we need to choose the right budget. And there are three types of budget that sound very, very um, similar, but actually they mean different things. Fixed, flexible, and flexed. Fixed budget is the budget that is prepared at the very start of the planning process, and it's uh, prepared for a single activity level. So we say, okay, we are budgeting for a sale of 1,000 units, the price is going to be like that, the variable costs are going to be like that, and fixed costs are going to be like that, and that is our profit. And this fixed budget, can serve as a benchmark for performance evaluation. However, we can also have something that is called flexible budgets. And this recognizes different cost behavior patterns. And it's very important to acknowledge that when we talk about cost behavior patterns for flexible budgets, we talk not only about variable cost, but also about fixed cost. And they are designed to change as the volume of activity changes. And what is very important is that they're prepared prior to the control period. So that is something that we prepare at the very start. And they serve to us as what-if analysis. For example, if we prepare a budget for um, best case scenario, normal case scenario, and worst case scenario, we are going to say, okay, well, best case scenario is that our demand is huge. And also that fixed cost are the same as we um, have now. So they have not risen by inflation and uh, nobody revised the prices over our, let's say, factory lease agreement and so on. There can be normal budget where we say that actually the demand is going to be moderate and we expect our fixed cost to rise uh, by the rate of inflation. And also we have uh, the rumors that uh, the cost for the lease of the factory is going to rise because the overall demand in the country is rising. So we are going to prepare this normal budget and not only variable cost, but fixed cost will be changed as well. And worst case scenario where everything <laughs> is not very good. Well, this is just one of examples. So we can have many, many, many budget and we call them flexible budget. 
And there is a, another definition, which is very similar, which is flexed budget. And flexed budget is something that you're going to use in your analysis, actual versus budget. Flex budget is a, a flexing variable cost from original budgeted levels to the allowances permitted for actual volume achieved while maintaining fixed cost at original budgeted levels. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean? So when the period has ended and we want to analyze whether we did great or not, we say that we need to stretch the budget for the change in volumes. And change in volumes of actual output is going to impact sales, it's going to impact variable cost, and also a variable past or part of overheads. Like, uh, let's say we have electricity cost, and electricity has fixed component, mm, because we need to light up the bulbs at the factory, no matter what. And also it has variable component. Mm, well, for example, the electricity that is used by the machinery, and it is used as long as units are made. So we will need to split these overheads by fixed and variable elements. And variable elements are going to be recalculated, restated. Okay, so flexible budget is what if analysis and fixed budget is when we fix for a single level of activity before the period starts. And flexed budget is something that we use in analysis at the end. And there are pros and cons, of course, of that, because, well, on one hand, uh, flex budget seems to be more less demotivating because, of course, if uh, the output increases, it is expected that cost increased, variable cost, like cost for materials, and the managers would be very demotivated if we come to them and say, uh, how come your materials cost is so big? How about your labor cost is so big? They will say, well, that's obvious because we made not 1,000 units, but 1,200 units. It's much more. It's by 20% more. So, of course, our costs are going to increase. And the fixed budget is uh, beneficial in a way that uh, it's a fixed target that never changes and it's easier for managers to uh, to pay attention to this uh, target. And they may be demotivated if the target keeps changing because the output expected keeps changing. And we have some new word here, which is allowances permitted. So we will see what it means. So what is uh, the budget allowance? Budget allowance for flexed budget is budgeted fixed cost plus budgeted variable cost multiplied by actual output. So um, cost allowance fixed part does not change and variable part does change by the change of actual output. All right, so that's it. And uh, see you next when we are going to continue.